welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little video for you guys. Now these are popping up all over the internet and I just thought, hey, you know what? I love giving my unsolicited advice to everyone on YouTube. So if you're interested in hearing my recommendations for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, just keep watching. So I don't know if you guys remember, I had a bunch of hauls in the springtime and it was because I was buying a lot of things from the last Ulta sale. So this time I am probably going to cool my jets, but there are some really cool items on here and I just thought it would be fun to share with you guys my thoughts on these products. Now the sale does start Sunday, September 3rd, so you definitely want to get geared up for it. The first thing I'm seeing on here that will be 50% off is the it Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny and it is originally $24 and will be on sale for $12. I personally don't use brow pencils. I like to use powder products and then use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. That's just how I've always done my brows and I feel like it looks natural enough for me. So personally, I won't be picking that up and I don't know if you guys should or not. I definitely don't have like a huge opinion on it cosmetics. I've not tried a lot of their products. So yeah, I really don't have a thought on that. They're also doing the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Serum for 50% off. So this is originally $88 and will be on sale for $44. I personally do like Murad products. I think they do really work and they actually sell it at the spa I go to to get my facials and stuff. That's what my esthetician recommends. I feel like they've definitely tried their product very well and they're not like one of those skincare lines that are like hip and cool like Sunday Riley or Drunk Elephant right now are very famous but I don't think they've been around the block as much as Murad has so just from my experience with Murad I think you're safe to try that out and I mean half off is such a great deal because it's an $88 product and everyone needs retinol especially if you're getting into that anti-aging you know part of your life I think I would totally check that out the other thing they've got on sale online only is the Estee Lauder pure color love lipstick it'll be 50% off regularly $22 and now it'll be $11 again I I haven't tried that lipstick so I really don't have an opinion for you guys super sorry about that the other thing I do want to mention is if you are planning on picking up any of these items in store you're definitely wanting to get there before the store opens because I guarantee you it will sell out quickly especially if it is a hot item I know that happens quite a bit I picked up everything online just because that was the easiest and if you follow like trend mood she usually posts as soon as it goes live but usually around midnight I think is exactly when the switch happens to the new batch of products. The only thing though, Ulta is pretty schemey about that because what they do is they still have a shipping minimum. So most of the time, even though you're getting an awesome deal on the product, you tend to spend more money to get to that free shipping. That's how I think they can justify these sales. Yes. Items on Monday, September 4th are the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Finishing Powder, which is usually $23 on sale for $11.50. Now oh, I've actually never tried anything from the brand Bare Minerals. So again, I don't know what to tell you guys about that. They're also going to have the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner, usually $17 on sale for $8.50. I personally don't use lip liners, guys, so I will not be purchasing those. I would rather get a lipstick, to be honest, uh, even though it's $8.50. I don't think that's a good price at all. Um, they're also going to have these Mali Evercolor Shadow Sticks for $12.50. Those are usually $25. Again, I'm not really into eyeshadow sticks. I prefer powder eyeshadows, so I will not be picking that up and also philosophy online only renewed hope in a jar or just regular hope in a jar that's usually $35 $39 and will be on sale for $19.50 I personally don't like philosophy's products I know a lot of people love their face wash personally I think it is completely just whatever it's just like regular soap I really don't think it's that great so for me I'm not interested in any of that stuff on Tuesday, September 15th, they have the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleaning Gel, which is usually $14, will be on sale for $7, and this is an 8-ounce bottle. I have tried a few of Mario Badescu's skincare stuff. I don't think it's anything exceptional, so I will not be picking that up. Pure has, or, or it says all primers, will be 50% off, so regularly $33 will be on sale for $16.50. I've never tried the brand Pure. I don't plan on trying it, so I will be passing on that. Online only, they will have Butter London Sheer Wisdom Lip Oils, usually $22 on sale for $11. I don't personally like lip oils. I'm definitely a liquid lipstick kind of gal, so I will be passing on those. On Wednesday, September 16th, 
They're going to do the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, and you get four of these. They're 50% off. Usually they're $15 on sale for $7.50. I've heard really good things about that brand, but I'm not planning on picking anything up because I do have the Patchology Eye Gels, and I haven't even made a dent in those, so I really don't need any more. The Tarte Double Duty Beauty Lip Sculptures are going on sale. Those are $24. They'll be on sale for $10. I will honestly be passing on those because again I don't really like lip glosses and I don't really like um, I think it's just a lipstick and I just I don't want that I really don't. Um, First Aid Beauty online only will have a ready set hydrate kit so it's $44 on sale for $22. I really do like the brand First Aid Beauty they were like one of the first high-end skincare lines I tried and I do think they're really good but I have no need for any more skincare I'm literally like up to here with skincare right now so I have a lot of things I need to finish up so I won't be picking that up. If you're interested in trying it out you definitely could I personally like to pick up individual products because you know you don't need to get more than what you need so that's definitely gonna be a preference for you guys on Thursday September 7th the exuberance age reverse introductory collection will be 50% off it's $80 per $80 and now will be on sale for $40 I've personally never heard of this brand so I would not recommend also Too Faced sketch Marco liquid eyeliner will be $10 instead of the usual 20 I would hard pass on that I've seen a bunch of reviews when those came out and nobody had anything really particularly good to say about them Cargo online only, their mascaras will be 50% off, so they'll be around the $10 to $11 range. You guys know I don't really ever recommend high-end mascaras. I think the drugstore has some amazing mascaras, so I would definitely say a pass on that. Now, Friday, September 8th is looking pretty good. Paracone MD Select Cold Plasma like products will be 50% off, so they'll be in the $55 to $81 range. I've only ever tried one thing from Paracone MD, and it is that blue plasma my stuff and it was not good and it was so expensive and I will never buy it again so I will probably not be shopping any of these items there I am really curious to try the Urban Decay Naked Flush palettes these are on sale for $17 they usually retail for $34 honestly I've never heard very good things about those palettes and I feel like they're constantly on sale because they aren't selling so I might get one not quite sure also the Ofra highlighters are 50% off which I think is a steal I recently picked up Rodeo Drive by Ofra and it's the most pigmented highlighter I own so definitely if you don't like a BAM highlight I would definitely avoid those like the plague but they are really pricey like their highlighters are definitely in like the 30 35 dollar range so I'm really tempted to pick some up during the Ulta 21 days of beauty because I feel like you're definitely gonna get better deal on those days September 9th which is a Saturday I actually picked this product up in the last sale it's the philosophy micro delivery exfoliating face wash which is 50% off so it'll be $14 I picked this up because I was running out of my Murad face wash or like exfoliator I'll put a picture up here so you know what I'm talking about and honestly I don't love it but it was so affordable I can't complain so if you're looking for a nice grainy micro exfoliator I would totally recommend that for $14 now I didn't realize this was on sale but I might have to pick some of these up because I recently told you guys I have fallen in love with the Benefit Roller Lash Lifting Mascara and this will be on sale for half off so it'll be $12 instead of the usual $24 which I think is an absolute steal. Also online they will have 50% off the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and I did actually pick that up sometime this year and I love Cover FX you guys know that and I do actually have the Perfect Setting Powder so I don't know if I'm gonna need a backup but if you guys are looking for a good setting powder that isn't like the Laura Mercier powder I would totally recommend because it's really nice and finely milled and I think it's a fabulous product. On Sunday, September 10th, Strivectin Power Starters Tightening Trio will be 50% off, so usually it's $89 on sale for $44. I have personally never used Strivectin, so I cannot, you know, tell you it's good or not. Tarts, Lights, Camera, Lashes, Precision Longwear Liquid Eyeliner is 50% off, so these will be $10. Now, I have tried some of the Tarte Liquid Liners, and I do think they're good, but they don't last very long, so your $10 will probably last you, like, maybe a month if you're lucky, and I personally like my liquid liners to have good bang for their buck and last a little bit longer, but I guess for $10, you can't really complain, so if you're in the market for that, I would maybe pick that up. Now, there is a Platinum Perk on that day, and this is a NARS online only, the Narcissist Cheek Studio Palette. Now, I have a NARS 
horror story where I picked up a cheek palette from the Nordstrom anniversary sale a couple of years ago and it's such a shitty palette so I'm definitely going to be avoiding that. I would recommend you guys avoiding it too. I feel like NARS's single products are way better quality than their palettes so I would definitely caution you guys on that. Definitely be aware that it might not be NARS quality. I think these ones are made a little bit cheaper and I just personally have no interest in trying out that palette. Now on Monday, September 11th, Proactive Emergency Blemish Relief or Makeup Cleansing Wipes will be 50% off, so each of them will be $10. I personally have never used Proactive, so I don't know, maybe try it out. I personally don't plan on it. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer will be $10. It's usually $20. I would pass. You really don't need to use eyeshadow primer. You can definitely use concealer as eyeshadow primer. Otherwise, I would probably just recommend picking up a MAC Paint Pot. I think those are fabulous um, eyeshadow primers. Uh, Clinique uh, Online Only will have their Quick Liner for Eye Intense. It looks like it's an eyeliner. It'll be $8.75. Again, not a huge fan of Clinique makeup, so I will not be picking up any of those items. Tuesday, September 12th. Well, the Stila Matte Ificent Lipsticks will be $11 instead of the usual $22. I personally don't really like a lot of things from Stila, so I won't be getting those. I have tried this Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel, and it's usually $38 on sale for $19. I didn't think it was anything extraordinary, so I will be passing on that. Derma Flash Online Only will have a facial exfoliating device. Usually it's $189 on sale for $94.50. No plans to pick that up either. On Wednesday, September 13th, I am interested in trying out this Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. A few YouTubers talk about it. I think Patrick Starr said, I love Sarah. He told him about it or something. But those two really seem to like it. And it'll be $13.50 instead of the regular $27. So that might be interesting. Smashbox X-Rated Photo Finish Lash Primer and Mascara will be $10 instead of the usual $23. Kind of a good deal, but again, I don't recommend buying high-end mascaras. So I would pass on that. Online only Origins is a offering a plant scription anti-aging power serum, usually $59 on sale for $29.50. Personally, not a fan of the Origins brand. I tried some of their ginseng stuff and I thought it was really weak, so I will not be picking that up. On Thursday, September 14th, Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluids will be 50% off. I personally have a few of the color correctors. None of the shades really worked with my skin tone, but they did add to the line. They added some darker tones. So there is now like a salmon color, which I think may work with my skin tone. So I might look into it. Those will be $14.50. I do like their regular concealers. Those are beautiful. So yeah, definitely check those out if you're interested in color correcting. Juice Beauty will be, their, their kits will be 50% off, so usually they're in the $39 to $50 range. Now they'll be in the $19 to $25 range. I personally heard a lot of really good things about Juice Beauty, but again, no skincare for Karen because I have just like too much skincare right now. Okay guys, so this is kind of funny, but I had to stop filming in the middle of the video and go to a chili cook-off with my friend Jalsa, and now I'm back at home and I'm quickly gonna film the rest of this video, so bear with me. I probably look a little bit different. My hair is definitely less straight and I think I have less makeup on but that's okay. Let's just finish this off. The next thing I want to talk about is the Lorac Online Only Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder and this is regularly $32 and during the sale it'll be $16. I personally have tried the Lorac Baked Bronzer that they have and it's definitely nothing like revolutionary by any means so I am not planning on picking up this new formula or this new package just not really interested in that at this time. I have a few bronzers I'm currently working through and I'm just not a fan of the Lorac formula in general so I will be passing on that but I do think the packaging is gorgeous and if you're on the hunt for a bronzer if you see a color that might work for you you can always try it out now on Friday, September 15th, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duos are 50% off. They're usually $23 and on sale for $11.50. I actually bought a brow powder from the last sale and I still have a long way to go with that one. So even though I kind of want to pick one up to have a backup or add a few to my kit uh, for my freelance kit, I think I'm going to pass at this time because I probably don't need to buy any more. Um, and then the Clarisonic Single Cleansing Brush Heads, excluding the Sonic Foundation Brush Head, are by 
everyone get one free so you'll be able to get two instead of one and then online only they're having mascaras 50% off off the brand Ico I personally never tried that brand and I'm not really interested uh, to buy mascaras at this time so I will be passing on that Saturday September 16th I'm a little bit interested they do have some cool stuff um, it cosmetic celebration foundation will be 50% off so it's usually $35 on sale for $17.50 so if you're looking for a powder foundation I particularly am not into powder foundation so I won't be picking that up and then an it brush for Ulta they do have a special line just for Ulta and those brushes the airbrush complexion brush the number 115 in particular will be on sale usually $24 on sale for $12. I don't think it's all the brushes. It's just that particular brush and this one looks like a foundation brush So it might be a good one to pick up. I personally really like these real techniques brushes and they're like under $10 So I would always recommend these ones for foundation if you're looking for a good one And then on that same day dose of colors online only their matte liquid lipsticks are 50% off So instead of them being $18, they'll be $9 a piece that one I'm actually really really interested in that's like the one thing I'm kind of really tempted to buy every single shade because I just tried the dose of colors matte liquid formula I have the Desi and Katie hot fire shade and then just from their regular line the shade Mondays and I really really like that it's actually the shade I had on at the start of this video I just put on bite beauty here it is this is their mousse bouche liquefied lipstick in the shade chutney and that's what I have on I really like the dose of colors formula though so that's something I'm really considering stocking up on on Sunday September 17th the philosophy time in a bottle serum which is originally $76 will be on sale for $38 again I'm not a huge fan of philosophy products so I won't be picking that up um, that same day, Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector will be 50% off, so it'll be $15 instead of $30. I've not heard very good things about their under eye corrector, so I would steer clear of that. I personally like to use my NARD Hot Concealer for concealing under my eyes and also the Naked Creamy Concealer. Those are my go-tos. I don't particularly use like under eye correctors. I used to, but I've just not heard good things about the Becca one, so I would stay clear of that. On that same day, they have a Platinum Perk, which is Urban Decay, and this is online only. The Razor Sharp Longwear Liquid Eyeliner is 50% off. Again, those will be $11. Regularly, they are $22. I've not heard good things about those either, so I would totally pass on that because that one in particular, I don't think would be on sale if it was a good product. I think that's one of those they're trying to get rid of, so it's on sale. Monday, September 18th. I feel the same way about this Lancome palette. It's 50% off, so regularly it's $69, which is ridiculous because these colors are so boring. And it'll be $34.50 on Monday, September 18th. Also, the Shiseido Triple Mask will be 50% off, so they're regularly $38, $19 that day. I don't know what these masks do, but I will never spend $19 on, I think they're sheet masks, and I'm just not at that level yet. Stila is having a sale on their huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Again, I don't buy high-end mascara, so this will be $11.50 instead of the $23 that it usually is. Online only exclusive, the brand Nia, which I've never heard of, is doing a 50% off on their Not Into Aging Startup Kit. So that looks like it's an anti-aging kit. It is $20 originally, and it'll be on sale for $10. So it's not very expensive to begin with, so I feel like $10 versus $20 is really not a huge saving, so that's not something I would really like worry about. On Tuesday, September 19th, Lorac Front of Line Pro Liquid Eyeliners or Eye Pencils are 50% off, so those are going to be $10. I've actually tried the Lorac liquid eyeliner. It's actually pretty good. So I would definitely recommend that, but I haven't tried the pencil. So don't know what to make of that. But if you're on the market for a liquid liner, I will suggest the Lorac one as being pretty good. Alginus Retinol Firming and Lifting Serum will be 50% off. This is usually $102 and will be on sale for $51. So that is a really great deal. I haven't tried a whole lot from Alginus either. I think I had like a face wash from them and that wasn't really anything to write home about. So you're going to have to use your discretion on that one because I have no thoughts to contribute. And then online only, there's a Japanese setting spray and that is regularly $29 and will be on sale for $14.50. Again, I've never tried the brand. Japanese either so you know you're gonna have to proceed with caution on that because I don't really know much about them 
On Wednesday, September 20th, Clinique Take, the day off, makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips will be 50% off, so it's usually $19 on sale for $19.50. Personally, I use the Sephora brand makeup remover, and I really like that one, and I use the Neutrogena makeup wipe, so I don't need any more makeup remover, and the Sephora one for the eye makeup, pretty affordable, so I would always recommend that one. It does a really good job of taking off all my makeup, and then that same day, MAC is having a sale on two of their lipsticks, Russian Red and Velvet Teddy lipstick will be 50% off. So instead of the usual $17, they'll be $8.75, which is a good deal, but it's only those two shades, so I don't know if that's gonna really, you know, convince people that they need to go out and buy a MAC lipstick. And then online only, Woosh Beauty, which again, I've never heard of, Spin On Lip Gloss is 50% off that day, so it'll be $8 instead of $16. Looks like they have some pretty colors, but I've never tried the brand, so I don't have any thoughts on that either. Tuesday, September 21st, Laura Geller Balance and Brighton Baked Color Correction Foundation is 50% off. The only thing I own from Laura Geller is the Gilded Honey Highlighter. I did try the blushes from the last 21 Days of Beauty and I really didn't think anything of them. I didn't think they were particularly special. They were very shimmery. So I really wasn't interested in those and I ended up returning all of them. So I am not interested in this big foundation at all. Clarins One Step General Exfoliating Cleanser is gonna be 50% off. So usually it is $15 on sale for $7.50. Again, not interested in any more exfoliators I have one so I'm good and then online only meaningful beauty which I've never heard of ultra deluxe system is 50% off usually $79 on sale for $39.50 again I don't need any skincare so I will not be buying that September 22nd Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara will be $10 that's a pretty good deal obviously any mascara that's $20 that's on sale for $10 is gonna be a good deal but I just don't buy high-end high mascaras the only one I really have my eye on for the sale is the Rolla Lash Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant is 50% off, so it'll be $9 instead of $18. Again, I don't need another exfoliator. And then Dermadoctor Online, KP Duty, which it, I believe is a Korean brand, excluding travel sizes and body peel, will be 50% off. So products will range from $19 to $35 that day, which if you're interested in trying that brand out, I guess would be a good time to try it. I personally have no interest. And then the last day of the sale, which is Saturday, September 23rd, Benefit Cub Brow, cream gel eyebrow color with brush will be $12 instead of the $24. I personally am not interested in the Benefit brand at all, so I won't be purchasing that. Mario Badescu Vitamin C Serum will be $22.50 instead of $45. Vitamin C is really good for your skin, so that's definitely something to consider if you want to beef up your skincare routine. I don't need any more skincare, so I won't be buying that. And then Butter London Glazen Eye Glosses, which are really pretty, but I feel like their formula is going to be really hard to work with. So as tempting as a lot of the YouTubers make them look, I'm definitely not planning on picking up any of those shades, and they will be $12 instead of the regular $24. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to talk about from the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. I basically went through every single product that will be a part of the sale. So hopefully you did find that helpful, not too boring. I'm sure this video is going to be a million years long. Just fast forward to the parts that you like. I did go in order, so hopefully this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.